All right, hello everyone. I'm Luxus, and this is V V V V V V V or V six, one of the probably most moron games uh, in this marathon, because it is actually from 2010. Um, but it is a very nice retro style, and it's an amazing game. Um, so this is a very fast-paced platformer with the twist that you don't jump but instead you uh, reverse the gravity of your character um, and because it is very very fast paced um, I've, it's gonna be hard for me to keep up with my commentary but uh, I, I will try <laughs> we will see and before I start real quick uh, two things one thing to mention is that like I said game came out in 2010 and at some point the developer um, made the source code public and then a lot of very dedicated people on github actually came together and worked on improvements on the game and they were so good that last year the developer put them out in an actual official update um, which is just really awesome like they added <clears throat> features like um, 60 fps support before that it was just 30 uh, they got rid of the one frame of input lag that the game had and uh, added accessibility options and all that kind of stuff. A lot of really cool stuff. It's just amazing to see something like that. And well, the category I will be playing is now out of bounds. So there are a lot of glitches actually in this game. Um, some of them put you out of bounds and you can beat the game really quickly. I will not do those, but there will still be glitches in the run. Um, most notably, I will abuse a mechanic that is only on the PC version, and that is the suicide button. There is a button in the game, only on the PC version, uh, that allows you to kill yourself, and then you return to your last checkpoint. It was originally in the game to like prevent potential soft locks or whatever. Um, and we will use it to skip several minutes of the run. Anyway. Let's just get into it now. All right, here we are. So with this little intro cutscene, um, <clears throat> so the ship is like I don't know something is happening. So all of of the crew are gone, and I just skip the first stage. So uh, the objective is to find, like we are Captain Viridian and we have to find the other five members of our crew. Uh, oops, that was bad movement. Actually very good, bad movement. Um, and we have to go to different stages for that. And I already skipped the intro stage, the first one. Um, we will have to return there later because, well, there is someone we have to rescue. Um, but what I did was just, um, taking a death when I warped into that stage but it didn't give me a checkpoint yet so I just went out of it again oops so this first stage like you can do these stages basically in any order you want there's a reason we do them in this order but more for that later um, every stage has like basically its own gimmick this one has all these oops that's an interesting mistake um, all these moving platforms. Nothing too special. There's a lot of lies in this stage. We will get past them. One thing I will do in a lot of places is that I will try not to walk off edges. I will try to... Ah. Um, <clears throat> basically flip in there from the other, from the opposite side. That's a tiny bit faster than um, just walking off the edge. But yeah, this, this stage is pretty basic. Should have grabbed that checkpoint, but it's fine. This 
this room is so weird because these platforms are, in a, are spaced very, very weird way. Oh, come on. As you can see, some, some strats are really, really tight and <clears throat> uh, you die very quickly in this game, but since you have like basically in every room a checkpoint and you respawn instantly, um, it's not, not a big deal. So, it's, it's really hard to get a run without unintentional deaths in this game. Alright, first stage down so we can go to the next one. So basically you have this little, you can almost call it open world, where you can <clears throat> explore a bit and go to whatever stage you want. And this is definitely Undertale, yes. <laughs> So the name of the game is actually um, because of the names of the crew members. They all start with a V. Don't ask me what all of these names are. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, that, that's why it's V V V V V V V V. Because they all start with a V. Alright, second stage. Coming up to... Um, the gimmick of this stage is... Uh, Basically that you screen wrap and you have to find the right way out of every screen, which can be very confusing when you play it the first time or when you watch it for the first time. But it's honestly not, not too bad once you know what you're doing. One thing that is very important in this run is because everything is so fast paced, you really have to know which room is coming up. When I was first learning this game, like, it was so impossible. Like, in a lot of rooms you have to do stuff immediately, so... <laughs> you just keep dying because you don't know what room is even coming up. Okay. Oh, missed that trick. So if you kill yourself right when you touch this teleporter, you spawn in the middle of the room for some reason. Don't ask me why though, but it works and saves a bit of time. And take this room a bit slower, I guess. Oh my god, what am I doing now? Now I'm completely off uh, rhythm with this. Okay. <laughs> like that, that's a problem when you when you die in some rooms. Like suddenly these patterns are not what you are used to, and uh, it it can get really weird. How long did Vini Vidi Vici to take me at first? Uh, I, I don't know, it definitely took me a while, but I still say it's not even the hardest trinket in the game. There's a harder one that we went past in the last stage. Oops. So, we make our way through the to the third stage, and this stage is actually an auto scroller, but it's a relatively quick auto scroller, so it's not too bad. And um, can actually speed up the auto scroller in the first part um, by taking some intentional deaths right when you hit a checkpoint at the top of the screen. Because after a death, um, then the screen scrolls up a bit faster. So you will see the first one here. I don't mess it up. There we go, that, that saves a little bit of time. It's not huge, but we'll do it six times, I think, in this stage. Just save a little bit of time. It's a bit risky, because if you just kill yourself before you hit the checkpoint, well, uh, you just lose a bunch of time. So I'll take these a little bit safe now. Okay, that's enough suicide for now. And do the rest of the stage normally. Also, I have to point out the soundtrack of this game is just so so good. I I love it. I mean, I love the whole game, but man, this soundtrack. Oops, what was that? <laughs> okay, I've never done that before. It's okay. Get to hear more of the soundtrack. 
It's just so good. So, um, now I can talk about why I do these stages in this order. So, after the third and the fourth stage, we get an intermission. And... I get this intermission with this character that I just saved, and this red guy, for some reason, he, he talks the least. So, I go into the intermission with him. <clears throat> yes, this game is on Steam. It was on several other consoles, I wanna say, oops. I wanna say, back then as well, but yeah, it's definitely on Steam. And um, it's a really good game. So, this intermission. Okay, I've never failed this before. Great job, me. So, in this intermission, um, our crew member follows us and he always walks. What am I doing? He always walks in our direction um, when I'm on the ground and he stops when I'm on the ceiling. That's how I control him. And he always walks towards me. And that is tricky in several of these rooms, like this one. And the next one. I mean, I like this room, but it's definitely one of the harder ones. Okay, at least I got that room first try. <laughs> death just to get up there faster all right so we are out of the intermission and I said earlier that I have to return to the first stage that I skipped initially and it turns out that when I do the second stage um, I get a teleporter at the end of this stage so I uh, just beat it and by killing myself during that, I also skipped the intermission. <laughs> so, sorry, we will not see the Gravitron in this run. Um, but because of that, we have this level complete banner at the top of the screen until I either beat the stage or until I die. So let's hope I can do this deathless. That would be kind of cool. So as you can see in this stage, the gimmick is these lines that automatically flip you. Here I'm gonna do a line clip by flipping again exactly when I hit the uh, line. No Gravitron in this run, sorry. I'll skip it. Oh my god, that was an interesting death. Well. Not a deathless stage, so we can see the top of the screen again. deaths but yeah it's, it's easy to die in this game but for the most part it's not very punishing so it's no big deal all right so we finished the last uh, crew member so everything is fine now right we saved them all no big deal <clears throat> they are all back on the ship perfect but we are missing so we have one final stage uh, that's actually my favorite stage because um, it combines all the um, gimmicks from the stages into one stage and it's just such a good stage and such a good song as well Come 
That, that's what I mean. I just don't have the timing anymore when I mess it up. <laughs> Usually I just get it. And then the timing is off. Uh, that's okay. Alright, one last intentional death. Get back to that checkpoint a bit quicker and... Uh, Final stretch and worst room of the game. I hate this room. Okay, we made it. One more line clip here. I'm really bad at these line clips, so I'm not doing another one here. I could, but not gonna. Last auto scroller room. No, that's that's a lie. There's one more. <laughs> right, almost done. Last room. We get to collect one more trinket. Those are optional things in the game. You don't have to collect and two of them are on my way so here we are not not the greatest run but i think i'm somewhere there we we use uh, in the in-game timer for for the run on the leaderboards as you can see it's a, well still sub 40 that's that's not too bad but yeah that is uh v v v v v v v it's really hard to like explain stuff during this run because it's just it's just so fast it's just so fast but yeah this this run is is really fun like some very precise uh platforming like there are actually some crazier strats that i'm not even going for all you had to do is fall through space forever yeah now they are all together again everyone is happy again <laughs> like G G G G G G, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they keep track of the room with the most deaths. Before this new version came out, you could die on that um, on that end screen uh, with that suicide button. Go back there, and it would tell you that your um, uh, the room with the most deaths had like one million deaths or something. But unfortunately, that that bug got, got fixed. So that's still one thing I have to show you because it's the best part of the of the game. This right here, this ending picture is also really good, but it's it's not quite the best thing in the run. But it, it is it is a glorious ending picture. I mean, I I really like this. <laughs> there they are. But, there's one thing. So you can continue and then you can, like, look for all the um, trinkets and stuff like that. But the best thing I will show you right now. I have to go there real quick. Won't take long. Uh, it's, it's kind of an easter egg. I, I, I have no clue what the story behind it is, but... I mean, it is there, so you will see it if you find if you go for all trinkets. Um, but here we are with the sad elephant. Isn't it majestic? And if you stay here for long enough, then he will turn sad as well. Very sad. Very sad. Um, originally. Um, the elephant was um, blinking in rainbow colors, but because I have the um, reduced flashing option on, um, it's just gray. Because on 60 FPS, um, the flashing is just horrible. <laughs> Even I can't stand it, and I normally have no problem with uh, any 
any flashing. But yeah, this is the sad elephant. Um, it makes everyone sad. It's very sad. I, I have no idea why. <laughs> What's the backstory, but yeah. Anyway, that was VVVVVV. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a great game. If you've never played it, go for it. It's, it's a really, really good game. And it might look really hard, and yes, you will die a lot when you play it the first time, but um, since literally every room has a checkpoint, it is, it is really accessible and a lot of fun. And yeah, um, I will be back tomorrow, um, like, I don't know, in like 18 hours or so from now, with some NES runs. Um, and yeah, everyone enjoy the rest of the marathon. I think there's some TMNT stuff next. Um, that's gonna be hype. And I wanna point out that in like five hours, there's a really cool Mega Man block. Really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, have fun and uh, see you next time.